and a half that they played, I think. Uh, but yeah, still nonetheless, against Suarez specifically, Suarez's style of play, you know, he's a lot more of a ledge trap heavy Yoshi. And ledge trapping Wii Fit, John Numbers Wii Fit in particular. Uh, yeah, that's the most I can say about it. Yeah, yeah, Suarez was just going kind of ham uh, on a Wednesday. I think just Suarez just had a really good day because you said it yourself. Numbers so usually confident in the matchup, but sometimes, you know, Suarez ha has a good day. Sometimes he makes it happen. But John Numbers playing with the confidence that you were talking about before right now. 83% already on Suarez. Yeah. Ooh. And one thing that John likes to do is go for anti-air options. Uh, he always thinks about, okay, how am I going to... Armor's broken. Okay. Um, uh, you know, he loves that up tilt in which the hand oh. is intangible. And oh, closing out the stock with an up smash like that. And gives him the time to get deep breathing in effect as well. If uh, Suarez gets nicked by like a neutral or something like that, oof, he can take like 60% easily. Oh. oh, wow. That is actually mm -hmm. brutal right there. And I was talking about how, oh, you know, it's so hard to ledge trap Wii Fit and all that. But <laughs> the reward for doing so, as we see right there, now Suarez able to even up the stock count. Doing all right for himself. I actually like that phantom footstool, trying to give him as much space between him and numbers as possible. And, oh, my goodness, dude. Numbers with the confidence that you were talking about, man. These up smashes just going one after another. And uh, I, I don't know what it is. He's just playing so well. I mean, a big part of it is that every time Yoshi takes into the air, Numbers has a plan. It's either an up tilt or an up smash or even just the sun salutation. It's a, an amazing anti-air option. Comes out so quickly, able to do so much damage, and it kills. Oh, wow, the shield is so low, man. We can test to see a shield break, but now Suarez aware of it. Now it looks like we pick a window the ledge right now. Ooh, man, that is actually scary right here. Suarez trying to claw his way back into this. Wow, amazing shield. And now, well, not able to get too much off that tech situation. I think he could have got a forward tilt, but no. Oh, we're chasing him off stage, oh. though. That actually could have been the stock right there. If he had gone in deep and perhaps going for a neutral air, that might have killed numbers. They were deep in the blast zone. Oh, this armor from no Yoshi, jump. dude. Taking so many hits. 188. Is that it? Wow! Able to survive despite every hardship that Numbers is levying at him. But right there, Numbers able to take it with that F tilt. It's such a reliable move. And we probably that was probably Suarez jumping out of shield. Otherwise, he most likely would have gotten a parry. Uh, so a nice jump call out from Don Numbers. Yeah, we're seeing this adaptation from Suarez in real time, though. Able to live for a very long time and on that second stock. We got Numbers having to close this gap right now. Yeah, and we have, you know, Suarez, he's throwing out his double jump pretty early on, and Numbers is not able to actually chase him down and exploit the fact that he has no jump when landing. It was his yeah. aerial mobility just too good. Uh, here's the light traps once more from Suarez into parry, but not going to get anything off of it. The re quick retraction from Wii Fit Trainer, man, it's like, I don't know, that, that, that get up attack hitbox is kind of scary. <laughs> What? There's been throwing out so many moves in each other's faces. Finally, Numbers manages to get ahead. But that was just... That was just Whiff City. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Here we go. Oh, the combos are coming into play. Oh, my God. This is so even. And this is just game one. Oh, but deep breathing now. Suarez just have to be careful. <gasps> Numbers going for an unsafe back air. Yoshi's aerial mobility letting him actually punish it. Yeah, that whiff right there, point blank, is going to be it uh, no, for oh. stage control. Yeah, so whenever you see Yoshi get hit by like a strong move and go nowhere, that means his double jump armor had been uh, broken. Oh, Ooh. almost going to get that what he got on the first stock. Now we have numbers. You know, up until this point, numbers has always had the percent lead, and then Suarez just survives and turns it around on him. This time, though, numbers is the one with the stock lead. He breaks his jump armor once again. Yeah, Suarez looking for a back air, something like that. No. And he throws at the egg. I think he wanted to grab the ledge with it, but he threw it out just a little bit too high. And the elevation from the egg throw itself put him onto the stage. There was nothing he could do. Just had to eat that sun.
Yeah, that's a lot of momentum going in the favor of John Numbers as he goes up 1-0 in the set. Immediately, you can see the stages that he's getting rid of right now. The FD and uh, Kalos off the map. But you can see maybe Town and City. No, we're going to stick to small battlefield. Suarez just trying to, like, I guess close the distance right there because it is a bit, a bit of a smaller stage. I think the other thing is that we've seen a lot from Suarez. Um, the forward air confirms, you know, like against his set. Frozen. Went for forward air, up smash. That's something that works a lot more reliably on a smaller stage like uh, like small battlefield. And, you know, forward air, up air, just being able to kill off the top, having that available to him as a, a reliable resource. I think that's what he's one of the things he's looking for here in this game. Oh, yeah, I agree with you, man. This is looking kind of scary. Uh, and, like, I, 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 that's, that's just how, what it is to fight a confident John Numbers. Like, uh, Suarez was clawing his way back, but it really came out of that last hit scenario and John Numbers just like, again, cracked the egg and made it happen. All right, Numbers hanging out at the ledge and finally finds the time to get deep breathing, but oh, I think he wanted to actually use it a bit and just, I think he made it a little bit too slow, was trying to mix up his timing, but that meant that he actually couldn't get all the way to the ledge. Numbers losing that stock like that is going to be really tough for him now to climb his way back. Suarez can definitely play to a lead. And, oh, oh, oh no invincibility. No, the re grab won't get punished, though. And now, uh, John Numbers trying to regain control. Here we go. Also, I like the fact that right now, Suarez going for very consistent damage, not trying to go for these, like, you know, bigger reads. Yeah, this is Ooh. scary. 125% though. You know, despite the fact that Suarez is in the lead right now, does, oh, maybe I spoke way too soon. I was gonna say, it felt like Numbers has a very decent game plan that, you know, he died very early, but for the most part, he seems to be, you know, doing all right for himself. That being said, now all of a sudden his, what looked like wasn't much of a lead, 112% on Numbers. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh, and that's a three stock to one deficit. The numbers has to do a lot of work here to close the gap. But Yoshi is so good at staying alive. Woo! The parry, the bravery from that, but still a lot. That's huge damage getting racked up. Oh. It's going down there. Oh, numbers. I guess just for whatever reason, <laughs> missed his chance. Yeah, I think he's just ready for this 1 1 scenario just to go back to a counter pick stage. Yeah. Um, okay, we have the bans now. It's actually both of them are banning. Look, flat stages. Uh, yeah. Kalos. Yeah. Interesting. Um, <laughs> All right. They nah. kind of don't want to go to the same stages. Because like. the thing is, you still don't want to risk if your opponent is just mind gaming you into wanting you to not ban it so that they can kind of pick you. It's. <laughs> Uh, I, I, we're sticking to the bioplats here, man. PS2 to small battlefield. Back to PS2. Ooh. Oh, good job from numbers. It's gonna end. Oh, oh no he's way! Dead. Amazing stock once more from Suarez. That's exactly what you need to snowball this set in your favor. How's he getting these early stocks, man? Suarez is coming alive. Yeah, I mean, we were talking earlier about how oh, numbers so comfortable, so good at the ledge. But when that strategy ends up really being exploited, when it falls apart, it falls apart hard because he is still willingly putting himself all the way out there, you know, right above the uh, the, the, the abyss. And Suarez taking advantage of it, doing a really good job just messing him up right now. Yeah, that's, that's a large look at the uh, limitations that We Fit Trainer kind of has where a lot of them are often going to the ledge. But I do think that, like, when John is on stage holding control and sharking, he, like, uh, I don't know, he just plays the character in just, like, a way that I think has to be played when you're fighting against Yoshi. All right, here we go. Watch out. Okay, I like the idea of going for the F tilt right there, um, but numbers got out and air dodged, able to actually turn that situation around. Deep breathing now in effect. There are so many moves that you have to be careful about as Yoshi here. Down tilt actually now, I believe recently was buffed and it's a kill move now from Wii Fit. Three stocks to one, yet again. I actually don't know how anybody can just try to make it back from this deficit, but uh, numbers is in a position where he just has to. This is loser's bracket. 
He does have one more game to work with at least, because you know this is best three out of five here for top eight. But <laughs> don't, I mean, maybe try and gain whatever information you can. I know he normally likes this matchup. He's been very positive on Suarez for a long time. So what is happening? What is changing? What ad what adjustments does he need to make right now? Suarez, knowing he has the lead, playing very careful, all egging all the time, not wanting to approach when he doesn't feel comfortable doing so. Yeah, I think specifically between these two players, they've gone well past the point of Yoshi versus Wii Fit Trainer. It's very much now. It's Suarez versus John Numbers. Like, these two have figured each other out and are adding layers on layers. Because they, they played Wednesday, they played Thursday, now here they are again on Saturday, uh, just figuring each other out. Yeah, and that was also really smart there from Numbers, knowing that that's an option that, uh, that going for the grab while the opponent's in the corner, he spot dodged it. Finally opens up, takes that stock, but Numbers already haven't taken about 29%, and he has two healthy, untouched stocks from Suarez that he needs to deal with. No, I agree with you, man. That is going to be chased here, but the Numbers, man, I don't know, man. He, he, it's really hard to just, like, steal a stock from Yoshi because uh, he's got that consistent double jump armor. But... However, I will say Numbers loves foot story Yoshi. Numbers will do it. If you are not careful as Yoshi, if you give him the opportunity to let him footstool you, then he will absolutely do it. Oh my goodness, man. That's a good piece of information, which I'm sure Suarez is probably familiar with to begin with. So this is kind of scary. <gasps> and all of a sudden, it's an even game. This is the thing. Like, those big plays that Suarez was having, yeah, they were managing to get him, like, a nice, healthy oh. lead. But Numbers just has a game plan. He knows what he needs to do against Yoshi. Just throwing out these anti-airs, getting the damage while Yoshi is off stage pretty consistently. Just nickel and dime him until it's actually a lead for Numbers. Oh, yeah. And this is basically we working into a reverse three stock. And it's exactly what you said. It's just like uh, <laughs> just making these plays to making it count. Hundred ten percent on Suarez. Keep in mind, he was yeah three stocks to one, massively in the lead. And think about what that does to somebody mentally. <gasps> okay, but numbers still can die here. One reverse up tilt into up air will take it. One up smash. There are a lot of kill options. Numbers has to be careful about. Yep, potentially a down B, but man, the fact that numbers has a lead at all right now after losing the first two stocks in the game, it's kind of wild. Oh, there it is. Yeah, reverse three stock. And yeah. Suarez is not happy. Yeah, Suarez shaking his head. And it's the sort of thing where, you know, he ended up that third stock, or sorry, the first stock, rather. Um, he ended up taking it really patiently, throwing out egg, egg, egg. The first, don't, <laughs> the first stock. Um, of, the, of that match, of that game, the first stock, where, you know, it held on to it for a really long amount of time. Um, oh, no, I mean, like, Suarez's first stock. Yeah, well, I mean, that also. I mean, just the fact that he was at 214%, being very careful, you know, able to get little bits of damage here and there. Um, and the thing is that that was a very close game, right? But that was a close game where Suarez almost zero to death John Numbers at the very beginning, and Numbers still took it back because overall, this Wii Fit just kind of has a, the Yoshi figured out. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's so much mental damage to get reverse three stocked in. John Numbers, again, the level of confidence he's playing is like polar opposite of what we saw in the Tilde set earlier. We actually got Yoshi retreating the ledge more often than we fit to, the, to a degree. Oh, that up tilt, though. It can be such a devastating combo Ooh. starter. <gasps> so deep! I'm surprised Numbers didn't try to, uh, I mean, I know he didn't have much room to, but didn't try to, like, really mess with Suarez on the way back. Yeah, I, I think he definitely wanted to, but the header gonna be Smirk right there, and now Yoshi trying to uh, close the gap. Yeah, Numbers knows how to match out of that egg. He's not going to be buffering any unfortunate options while off stage. And oh, 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 oh my goodness. That's just getting tiny, getting teeny weeny. Oh, no way. He doesn't even find the mark on that combo starter. And now it's John Numbers with stage control. Yoshi has to land. <gasps> oh, yeah, but he's looking for the up tilt. Numbers knowing that's starting to throw out tilts of his own. At any moment now, the stock could get deleted for either player, and they both know it. Numbers able to get even more damage with that header, but he needs the kill. More damage doesn't help. Finally manages to do it, and... Oh, man, if you're Suarez, 
How do you clean this stock up? Like, Numbers is not falling for these up tilt up airs. He's too grounded. Yeah, after that first game, I swear, Numbers just flipped the switch and he's playing like a whole new beast. Oh, 61% already on Suarez. His damage is 0% and oh, if that header had actually connected. No, uh, oh my goodness, this is so dangerous here now. So much extra credit being racked up and John Numbers poised for this top four. But uh, I don't know, man. Suarez just needs to do something here. Oh, no way! Dead. Oh. Number, like, just look at look at everything in that last, that the exchanges that happened there. Numbers crouched in the corner because he knew, knew that uh, Suarez was going to try and go for the back air. Suarez actually takes that stock, but might be too little too late. You know, Numbers was able to make this sort of comeback happen last game. So, technically, it's feasible, but as it stands at this moment, it, Numbers just... Oh man, the confidence he has, as he was saying, the power behind every option he chooses. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Just getting an extra bit of credit, and it's just so, so painful to watch, especially for like Yoshi. He's like, he did this on Wednesday. He just had a really good run, but now it's looking like the John Numbers show. <laughs> I like the idea of trying to go for the berry and possibly even more damage. But uh, Suarez is able to get away from the worst of it. He needs to, yeah, he's going deep. He has no end. Yeah, he burned his double oh, jump there. Oh, wait. Still has another opportunity to recover here, and Suarez on his last legs. What a tag! Oh, a That's shield. a broken shield. Yep. I think he walked forward just a little bit, which then when the opponent is falling, will just push them off the stage. So technically, Yoshi can uh, kill someone at zero by doing that. That's, what, that's the kind of counterplay that you gotta be ready for, especially if you have this so much experience that you're talking about, but uh, I don't know, man. It is looking so rough. Are we actually, hold on a second, are we actually gonna see another like, reverse three stock? Oh my goodness, man. Suarez oh. is bleeding here, but closing the gap, doing a very good oh. job. We could see a game five if Suarez commits here. It's that forward air. It's no not enough way, to actually dude. kill just yet. But Numbers taking all of this damage. He's now at 131. And Suarez looking like he's figuring it out. Trap Numbers at the ledge no here. No way. That oh. time he rolls away, but perfect roll. Just barely. And that's deep breathing now in effect. One sun salutation will kill. One forward tilt. There's so many moves from both players that could end it. It's, uh, it's just so emotional, man. Reverse three stocks coming into play. Not going to get that combo. Oh, that's it. That's going to be it. Fighting tooth and nail. Suarez almost bringing it back from the brink. But that's the thing about comebacks. You have to play perfectly. There are only so many mistakes you can afford to make. And Suarez just made one too many at the very end right there. Yeah, jumping back from the stage. He wanted to go for a down air here. You see they come out. Numbers anticipating. Throws the sun. Yep, taking it in 3-1. What a hot finish right there. And that solidifies our top four for the rest of the tournament here. Zeno, Saga, 34. We have four players left. Tilde and Zamba hanging out on winners. And then, uh, unfortunately for Suarez, just finishing in fifth right there. John Numbers advancing the top four. And uh, we had our other top four finalists earlier make it through. Uh, who do we have on that end of things? Um, it's Tilde, Sin uh, Tilde, Zomba. Oh, and then Sinji. Sinji, yeah, uh, Sinji's yep. waiting. There we Sinji, go. Uh, so we're going to have Sinji numbers. We get to commentate that. But yeah, I think we're going to go to a commentary break and we're going to be yep. top four in a bit, so don't go anywhere.